Let's think about the data as tables and let's sort of deal with it declaratively. Let's have the idea that our data uh, is a set of tables and we can sort of interact with that nicely uh, and we can then let the system sort of worry about the details of how should a query be processed and how should the data be stored underneath this kind of veneer of tables. Uh, and as we all know, that led to a sort of a giant success in terms of relational databases. Uh, so that's kind of what happened to, to sort of summarize that in terms of what application developers had to deal with. Uh, they would start by going, okay, let me think about my data. Right, so this is sort of the data modeling side. When people needed to build something, they would have to think, you know, what am I building? I'm dealing with departments and employees because it's a relational database. And so, uh, you know, employees work in departments and departments have some attributes and employees have some attributes. And in the beginning of your application development, you would sit down and think about what is the data that I'm building my application? You know, what's my application about? Uh, you would then take that either using by hand or using tools and that would get you to the set of tables for your relational application. Uh, and then the beauty of the relational world is you can write these little queries that will uh, get things uh, rather than having to sort of write whole programs to walk this network of data. Right? So life was pretty good in the world of relational databases. Now we're in the world of services. So, so where are we? Well, we're in a world where uh, there's a ton of data everywhere, as we all know. So relational databases are pretty easy to use. Uh, everybody's used them. Everybody's created relational data silos. Um, everybody's done it in different kinds of databases, like Oracle, DB2, SQL Server, MySQL. You know, there's a list of systems that people use commonly. And then there's a lot of older data in a lot of older systems uh, as well, in terms of older databases like IMS and IDMS. Um, also, not all the world's data, obviously, is SQL accessible. Even though a lot of the world's data is stored in relational databases, kind of the high value data, uh, it's oftentimes inside applications like SAP uh, or PeopleSoft or SQL uh, or Oracle, which I guess would be SAP, Oracle, Oracle, or Oracle. Uh, so it's in you know one of two systems or one of two vendor software. It's locked inside. The business logic uh, is important to the data, and so you actually can't SQL against that data. You need to come at that data through the top. And so it's although it's SQL stored, it's not SQL accessible. Another example would be uh, Salesforce.com, where you need to get the data through the Salesforce APIs, not through uh, SQL against the underlying database.